I think the Anki app for the phone is a fantastic tool. It allows you to study anywhere, which is huge. It's totally worth the $20. But there were a couple errors that the Anki app made, which were extremely frustrating and caused me to have a panic attack. <laughs> and you don't want to be having a panic attack with technology when you have to study your buns off for medical school. So, um, so I'm studying, I'm studying for an exam. <laughs> You're always studying for exam medical school. Uh, so the way I did my Anki cards is I would type them on my computer and then sync them with my phone. And then I would do the questions on my phone whenever I had time. That's how I like to do it. And then I'd sync back and then the information would be fine. Everything would be cool. So I did about 300 cards that day on my phone. I was very happy with myself. Then on my computer, I'm putting, you know, a couple lectures worth of Anki cards in, new Anki cards, and I hit sync. Something did not work for some reason. And I still don't understand what happened, but for some reason, my phone and computer would not work. They would not sync together. And I was put into this situation. I could either lose all the new cards that I had just made for all these lectures, which took a lot of work, or <laughs> I would lose all the progress that I had made on the 300 flashcards that I had gone through. So it would be like I hadn't even done them. And this was extremely frustrating. So the decision I made was that I had to give up the 300 cards that I had done because the work that I had put into on my computer was a lot of work. <laughs> it was a lot of time. It was a lot more effort. I felt like just going through 300 cards, it's just, it's just time. It's not like I'm having to do like, it's stuff that I had just covered. So hopefully it was going to go faster. It was faster, but it still made me lose like two hours and the stress. It was super frustrating. One of the reasons that I think caused this was that I just had a couple pop-ups, Anki pop-ups, like, you know, like how to make, you know, making a new card and then like the search for cards all open while I tried to sync. I think delete all those and just make sure that you have just the main Anki app open on your computer. That's it. And while you're syncing, I, I have a feeling that that's what happened, but I haven't had a huge issue like that since, but that was super frustrating. Now, occasionally, this is the second thing. Occasionally an image won't show up on your Anki cards. At first, I was like, what the hell? Like, I put all this time finding the image, putting it in. I, now I can't even remember what I put in, but there's a blank spot where there's supposed to be an image. Apparently, that's pretty easy. You just resync it um, on your computer and on your phone, or just sometimes just on your phone, and the image will come back up. So that that's a little easier to take care of. The one kind of annoying thing, which it's not going to take you a ton of time, but I don't know how to fix this error is when you're making clones. Um, so say if you make a card with three different clones. So you make a card, you block out three different words, and which means that you're gonna get three different cards. But say you decide, you know what? I'm smart enough. I can answer two of these in one. Say, say you can do that. You go back into the search bar, you find that card, you change it to just, okay, I'm gonna answer two of these, two of these things, and I'm only gonna have two cards for three different clones. If you sync that on your phone, that card that used to be there is now blank and you're just gonna get a blank card and you can't do anything about it. If you delete it, you're gonna delete all three. If you're gonna th delete all three terms, you're gonna delete all the cards that were made with that clone. Super irritating, but it's not that time consuming, just occasionally you're just gonna get this white card and you just have to say, oh yeah, I know that. I don't even know what this white card is, just I know it. And, and you can see which one it is. If you go like data, you can see which the other side is and it'll show you, oh yeah, it's one of those clones that you'd changed. Irritating, but not like super time consuming. I do wanna say that the Anki app for your phone is a fantastic tool. You still need to use it, but occasionally it can give you some heart attacks. Okay, <laughs> I hope
I hope that was helpful. Now, go out there and kick some butt.